For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Kathy Wood has established herself as a prominent figure in the world of disruptive technology investing. Her firm, ARK Invest, is well known for its commitment to identifying and investing in high-growth technology stocks, primarily through its exchange-traded funds. Each of these exchange-traded funds is designed with a specific focus. ARK Invest has garnered a reputation for thriving during bullish market conditions, where its high-growth innovative stock picks tend to outperform. However, this approach is not without its challenges, as the stocks selected often carry a considerable amount of risk, while investing in an exchange-traded fund generally provides investors with a diversified portfolio that helps mitigate risk. This is not always the case when most of the underlying stocks are volatile. Two of the most promising companies in her portfolio are Roku and Mercado Libre, both of which have the potential to be part of a millionaire maker portfolio over the long term. Roku, in particular, presents an intriguing opportunity despite facing a challenging year. The stock has continued to decline in value even though the company has reported strong growth and made strides in improving operational efficiency. The market appears to be overlooking Roku's progress at the moment, which presents a unique opportunity for investors to purchase the stock at a bargain price. The pandemic has caused many companies to overestimate demand, leading to two distinct groups. Those that have successfully adjusted to changing market conditions and those that have struggled. Roku falls firmly into the first group, as demonstrated by its performance in the second quarter of 2024. Roku operates two main business segments that complement each other. The first segment is its streaming hardware division, where Roku has established itself as the top device seller in the United States. When customers purchase a Roku device, they are brought into the Roku ecosystem, which provides access to Roku's own free streaming channels, as well as any other channels the customer subscribes to, provided Roku has an agreement with the service. The second segment is Roku's advertising business, which plays a key role in driving revenue for its free channels. While the hardware division only accounts for about 15% of Roku's total sales and is not profitable on a gross basis, it is a critical component of the company's overall business model. By selling streaming devices, Roku is able to expand its user base, which in turn fuels growth in its advertising division. This synergy between the two segments is what allows Roku to continue expanding its reach and improving profitability. In the second quarter of 2024, Roku made significant progress in terms of profitability. The company generated $317.9 million in free cash flow, a substantial increase from the $100 million it reported in the same period last year. Additionally, Roku managed to narrow its net loss from $108 million to $34 million, signaling that the company is on the path to financial sustainability. One of Roku's most significant long-term growth drivers is the ongoing shift from traditional broadcast television to streaming services. In the first quarter of 2024, Roku's streaming hours increased by 23% year over year, while traditional broadcast viewing declined by 13%, according to data from Nielsen. Roku's ability to maintain its top position in the streaming device market, combined with its ongoing efforts to introduce new and improved devices, gives the company a competitive edge. Furthermore, Roku has demonstrated its ability to streamline costs without sacrificing growth, which is a a key indicator of profitable scaling. This focus on efficiency has allowed Roku to continue growing its business even in the face of market challenges. Despite these positive developments, Roku's stock has faced significant pressure, with its value declining by 40% this year alone. The company has struggled to gain market recognition for its achievements, even as it continues to increase sales in both its hardware and advertising segments, and moves closer to achieving net profitability. If Roku continues to perform well, and the company's recent progress suggests that that it will, the stock is likely to rebound in the future. By purchasing Roku stock today, investors may be positioning themselves for significant gains over the long term, potentially contributing to their journey toward millionaire status. In contrast to Roku, Mercado Libra has managed to maintain strong investor confidence thanks to its outstanding growth, robust profitability, and vast opportunities for future expansion. Mercado Libra's stock has risen by approximately 20% this year, driven by the continued success of its e-commerce and financial technology businesses, despite the challenges posed by global inflation. What's more, the company's growth rates are accelerating, reaching their highest levels since 2021 in the second quarter of 2024. Mercado Libra 
Sierra's e-commerce division has seen gross merchandise volume increase by 20% year over year, or 83% when adjusted for currency fluctuations. Meanwhile, its financial technology division has experienced a 36% increase in total payment volume. As a result, Mercado Libre's overall revenue grew by 42% to $5.1 billion, and its net income more than doubled to $531 million. Despite serving a population of over 500 million people, Mercado Libre's revenue represents just 0.3% of Amazon's. While it's not an exact comparison, as both companies operate in multiple sectors beyond e-commerce, this statistic provides a sense of the vast potential Mercado Libre has for growth. Additionally, many of the markets Mercado Libre serves are still underpenetrated in terms of e-commerce, creating a significant opportunity for long-term expansion. Mercado Libre continues to attract new users to its e-commerce platform, and these shoppers are becoming increasingly active over time. In the financial technology space, Mercado Libre offers a wide range of services, including digital payments, credit cards, and investment products positioning itself as the top platform in three of its four largest markets. As if its success in e-commerce and financial technology weren't enough, Mercado Libre is also making significant strides in the digital advertising space. The company has steadily increased its market share in digital advertising and is now the third largest digital advertiser in the regions it serves. Mercado Libre has already delivered substantial returns to its investors, but there is still plenty of untapped potential. With its strong position in high growth markets and a diverse range of revenue streams, Mercado Libre is well positioned to continue generating impressive returns for investors. Purchasing Mercado Libre stock today could be a powerful way to supercharge your investment portfolio and help you achieve millionaire status over time. In the end, Kathy Wood's investment strategy at ARK Invest is centered on disruptive technology and high growth sectors, leading to both high potential returns and elevated risk. While her exchange traded funds might be too volatile for some investors, individual stock picks like Roku and Mercado Libre present compelling opportunities. Roku is positioned for a rebound as it continues to grow despite market challenges, while Mercado Libre is thriving in e-commerce and financial technology, with significant long-term growth potential. Both stocks offer the possibility of substantial returns, making them strong candidates for a wealth-building portfolio. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.